Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to build a password generator app. We're going to be using React.js to build this app, and we'll also use a password generator API in order to get secure passwords. So to sum it all up, our app will basically have a button on the screen, and on the click of that button, it'll fetch the password generator API, and that API will return a secure password for us to display on the screen. So with that being said, let's begin. So to first start off, I want to explain what API we're going to be using. And the API that we're going to be using is called Passwordinator, and it's basically a free API that generates passwords, and you don't have to sign up for anything as well. So it's really a great API, and if you just go to passwordinator.herokuapp.com forward slash generate, it's going to display a password in JSON format. And right off the bat, the password that it gives won't be very secure since it's just lowercase letters. So what we can do is generate a password with at least one lowercase letter, at least one uppercase letter, at least one special character, at least one number, and a length of eight characters. So to do that, we can just pass in some queries into the URL, and I'm just gonna paste these queries in. And if you guys would like to paste these queries in, I'll have them in the description. And this num is equal to true will basically make sure that our password has at least one number. This caps is equal to true will make sure that our password has at least one uppercase letter. This char is equal to true will make sure that our password has at least one special character. And this len is equal to eight will make sure that our password has a length of eight characters. And at least one lowercase letter will be added on by default. So now if I hit enter, you can see that it returns a password that fulfills our secure password criteria. And now that we have this completed, we can move on to setting up our project. All right, so now that I've shown you what API we're going to be using and how it'll work, we can finally get started on actually building this app. So what I've done here is I've created a React project by doing npx create React app, and I've started up my server by doing npm start. So what I'm going to do first is just remove all this starter code in app.js, and I'm just going to create an empty function component by doing rfce. And right here you can see that my page is now empty. And next what I'm going to do is create a button and this will be the button that will be used to generate a password each time you click it. So inside of it I'm just going to type in generate password and now you can see that we have the button on the top left hand side of this web page. And next I'm going to create a variable to store the uh, URL of our API. So I'm just going to do const URL and I'm just gonna paste the URL, and this URL will also have the query strings for the secure password. And if you guys would like to copy and paste this URL, I'll have it in the description as well. And now that we've gotten the URL as well as the button, I'm going to explain how the secure password will show up on the screen. So what we're gonna do is basically create a function that will fetch this URL and whatever response that this URL gives back, which will be the password, we're gonna store that password inside of a state variable using useState and just display that state variable once we've retrieved the password. So in order to do that, I'm gonna first import uh, useState. And if you guys don't know about useState or don't know how to use it, um, I have a video on it and I'll have it on the top right hand corner of the screen. So now that we've imported use state, I'm going to create the state variable. I'm just going to call the state variable password, and then set password, and I'm going to set this equal to use state. Okay. And next, we can move on to creating the function. So to create the function, I'm just going to write some code down to actually create the function, and I'll explain what it means once I'm done. Okay, so I've created this function called fetch API, and what it does is that it will first fetch this URL right here, and then whatever that response that the URL gives back, which is going to be that password, we're going to parse that response into JSON, and then whatever data is contained inside of that JSON, we're going to set that data to this password variable. So once we retrieve the data, we're going to set the value of this password variable to that data by using this set password function, and to just make sure that it worked, I'm just going to console.log the password variable to make sure that we got the password from the API. So now that we've created the function, 
we're just going to need a way to call it and how we're going to be calling this function is through a button click so I'm just going to add an event listener for on click by doing on click and then have this call this fetch API function right here each time this button is pressed so I'm just going to save my changes and if I click this button and then I open up my console and click it again you can see that the password is showing up right here so what this button is doing is that it's calling this um, fetch API function which is fetching this API or this URL basically and then whatever response that URL gives back it's parsing that response into JSON and then whatever data is contained inside that JSON is going to be set to this password variable and then we're just logging that password variable to the console so now that we've gotten this far all we need to do is just display the password variable onto our web page all right so I've closed up my console and we can also remove this console.log password statement here because we know that the API fetching is working now in order to display this password all we need to do is display this password variable and what I'm going to do is write down the code to display that password variable and once I'm done writing down the code I'll explain to you guys what it means so I'm just gonna start writing down the code okay so what this code does is that it'll first check if the type of password is equal to undefined so it'll first check if the data type for this password variable is equal to undefined and if that's true then it means that the API is currently being fetched therefore the password is currently loading and so we just display this loading text inside of this p tag otherwise meaning that the password is not equal to undefined and this in most cases will mean that the API has been fetched and that there is a value for this password state variable and since there's a value we can display the password that was generated by the API by just doing password.data and we're adding this dot data here because the API returns the password in a key value pair where the data is the key and so we just do password.data to access the actual password and if I press this generate password button again you can see that it displays the password that the API returns alright so now we're pretty much done with this app because we know that it's generating a password each time we press this button and if I press it again you can see that it replaces the previous value with a new password which is supposed to do so yeah that's basically it and all we're doing here is fetching this API using this URL right here and setting the value of this password state variable to whatever this API returns and this is happening each time we click this button and once all that is done it renders the password variable to show us what the generated password is so yeah that's basically it for this project and I do encourage you guys to add more to this project so perhaps maybe add some styling to make it look nicer or have an input form where you can enter in a password and check if that password is secure like the ones being generated and whatnot. So yeah, that's it for this video and I hope you found this informative and enjoyed. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And with that being said, have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video.